In the last video, I talked about how you can create your first bot with Power Virtual Agent and this video, I am going to take this bot to the Microsoft SharePoint and Teams level. So let's just get into dive over here. So if I say here, hi, it actually works right now, you can see and most of you who are new to this video, you can see I actually went ahead and created a suggested topic from my external website called FAQ from Allegion and then I configured them in my suggestion over here and then actually I will go one by one and make it to a part of your topics. So if you want to know further, go and watch my previous video. But this is where I'm going to go and take it to the next level where I'm going to probably take this first bot to my uh, SharePoint as well as the Teams. And there's something called analytics that we can probably go and explore and I would recommend you guys to go and explore all of that summary or what it creates in, 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 in an out of the box way. And it's actually very powerful as well if you can see right now this Microsoft done it for us and it actually talks about engagement, sessions, escalations and all that stuff. So I'll probably go and come back to you on this one to get refreshed. Let's keep going. So in this one I will have a Microsoft Teams and custom website. So this is a place guys. So when you go and create your first bot and the bot that you are I'm in right now, it's my first bot. So this is where I go and say, hey, I want to take this uh, application to one of my uh, SharePoint. So I will go and copy this frame. I go back to my, one of the communication site and there I go to the view all site setting because this is a place where you have to enable uh, the HTML um, uh, security. Those of you are not aware about the HTML security, I think the modern SharePoint developer knows that in this HTML field security, you have to add it as a domain, right? So this is the place where I have said, hey, allow contributors to insert iframe from any domain. Since I have allowed it, I go back and add that iframe back on my home page. So the experience that I was doing it and showing it from the Power Virtual Agent page, I'm gonna go and demonstrate to you guys from the home page of one of my uh, organization. So I go and hit this button in the top right corner and then I just probably go and insert a uh, embed code and that code will actually contains the iframe that I copied just now. So let's just get going over here. Um, come on, excuse me for this little delay. Uh, there you go. So when you go over here, I can go and set that in code anywhere uh, as a part. So I will go and use it for embed. All right. I use that and I'm going to go and add that iframe right in that section and I'll remove anything else like this. And once you add that, I can go and set up my height, maybe 500 or 600 pixel or something. And I think this is what it is. So I think we are good to go. Woohoo! So this is the first bot that I just added from Power Virtual Agent back into the SharePoint. And this SharePoint can run into Microsoft Teams and we can explicitly add this particular bot right in the Teams. Maybe I can go and demonstrate a quick here. So when you say hi, it works exactly the same how it works before in Power Virtual Agent page. And this is where uh, you can go and really test your bot. And I want to know about Allegion headquarter, right? So I just go and write it. And it, you see, this is a result that it's covered. And I say yes. So this is also a place where you can expect the analytics to work. When you ask the feedback, I say excellent. And it actually write the query back into the analytics here. And this is a purpose I was showing you that all your feedback you can see back in analytics tab and this is what it is you know that's so beautifully designed by Microsoft integration I'm really loving it and I hope you guys also take it of advantage of this particular you know a piece of you know beautiful piece together you when you build something I think this is just great so it's just like uh, we have to really think about the use cases in the company uh, maybe for your HR they have a lot of policies where you can go and show up all the policies uh, by creating the topics and uh, by creating the topics you can go and add your existing topic to this bot so much right so let's just go and keep going so this is what it is for a SharePoint perspective 
let me go and edit this experience in Microsoft Teams. So when I go and create it to the Microsoft Teams, I go and get it a copy of this app ID. So this is my bot ID. Let me go to one of my Microsoft Teams and you can see I have already configured it before the demonstration. Let me go and add one for you guys to probably go and start with. I just go in App Studio and this is a place where you can go to the create a new bot experience in Microsoft Teams. And when you go to the manifest editor, uh, I'm following a link uh, which you can go as well and follow. So this is called add a virtual agent to the Microsoft Teams. So it says go to your Teams, manage channels, go and create it. You know, you copy the ID, go back to the manifest editor, give the details around the bot, set up an existing bot, create this as an ID. So you're going to go and say existing bot, name it, connect to the different bot ID experience and say personal. Put a validate domain and this is important guys please do make a note of it you have to add a valid domain to that work right so let me go and show you one of my existing app that i have already done it so i just started with the first from here app details full name app id so you can go and generate one for you because when you see this it's a blank right i have already generated in my previous step that I have not covered but just to click on generate ID it creates an ID and that's it so well. do not paste that ID from there here you have to paste that ID in bot uh, level not here put some descriptions and full description and I know this is confusing for you guys please do do remember put some valid because these are the mandatory columns excuse me for that because we're gonna go and ask Microsoft why they have made this mandatory but this is what it is so uh, you have to just give some meaningful name to this like i have used one of my tenant called empathy technology so i just probably use everywhere the same i go to the bot because i'm expecting bot to be added so you can see the added setting of the bot i go to connect to one of my different id and this is the id that i need to go and copy right so this is the id where i have to go and copy the id from here right this id you have to add it over here and then you can choose this to team, personal group, a lot of other stuff, right? I just go and that go it, I mean, just do it. And then there's something called domains and permissions. As you see, I have added this as a domain, right? Go and take a copy of it and make it an entry over here. So basically what I'm asking you to write is token dot uh, bot framework or something, right? So just go and write that complete one and i think this is going to work for you guys go and test and distribute it when you go and install it says you have already installed it do you want to add one more absolutely not because i have already added this one so this is what it is you can go and download it from here let me go and show you how it really going to work i will go and create from here and i will have my first bot available i go here and pin it right like this go and uh, pin it always so here i say hi and you see it works well with power virtual agent now i took it to the sharepoint and then i'm taking it back to the microsoft teams as a bot right so this is just great uh be greatly done by microsoft with a lot of good integrations around around the whole right and i can say the headquarter um uh, a company headquarter maybe i wanted to know I have just did some mistake and the bot will understand hey you do you want to rephrase it one more time for us so it says can you rephrase and try it again absolutely so I'm gonna go and write company headquarter and this is where it actually tells you the results like Dublin Ireland and sometime oh oh, oh sorry uh, something get went wrong in my demo, but it's it's just how it is work. So uh, that's clearly uh, Clearly the way it works well. So right now maybe some settings I have uh, I've just you know uh, wrongly done while showing you guys But this is what it is working before and you can see it's working So I was expecting this kind of allegiant ticker. I go and choose one of my allegiant prices, you know share price so it actually fetch the results from uh, from the FAQs website external website and show you the results this right So you see yes, this is working. Yes so to conclude 
go and test this out guys this is so fun so much fun while i was working with the whole time with the bot and i created the bot back into the uh, you know the power solution page and i take it to the sharepoint and microsoft teams together and one of the place where i have also added this in a company intranet page and those of you who wants to know more about the video how you can take your uh, home sites and communication site to the company uh, teams in you know, worldwide where employee can see the company intranet over here so you see this my bot is working well over here as well so i can go and say hi and this is really working well so uh, i think you must agree the kind of integration it comes with today so i really loving it so hope hope to get more from microsoft uh, and probably you can see how fast it is right now it is uh, probably you know uh, responding to our, our questions right so this is the beauty right and follow me in my youtube video where you have more questions just i i would love to help you guys out as well so thank you for watching as well thank you